Guys, check it out. Oh my gosh. I just hit 100,000 subscribers on Instagram. You guys are freaking amazing. It's so freaking sick. I'm just like, literally like in the middle of getting a thumbnail and a post for Instagram. So I got both of the cars out. Got the STI and the FRS just chilling. Oh my gosh, it looks so good together. But dude, this is freaking huge. Shout out to all you guys who have contributed and helped to reach this amazing milestone. 100K on Instagram. At 100K on Instagram and YouTube. So freaking blessed and thankful for each and every single one of you guys. But yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know before we start today's video, that um, this is huge. I love to document, you know, like the small, the big things that happen. While the FRS is out of the garage, I wanna show you guys the upgrades, I guess I can say, to the new shop. Don't mind the trash, but pretty much are officially moved in. We got all my quick jacks, my entire toolbox. If you guys missed the last video, we brought all the tools to the shop from my house. And um, yeah, we got everything. I'm so freaking happy. I, it literally feels like home now. Like I can do whatever job in here since we got all the tools. Just a couple hours ago, we just finished putting together these little racks. Um, so it literally freed up a lot of the mess that was right here. Um, so we got all the stock parts, just a whole bunch of the stuff kind of neatly organized. I love doing these little upgrades to the shop. So I think what's next is some sort of lighting. I really want to do some LED lights either on the wall or on the roof. Uh, because it is quite dark in here at night. If you guys got any suggestions, you know, if you guys have a shop or a little like home garage setup, put some comments down below. Um, I'll be open to recommendations because I really need some lighting for this place. But I'm enjoying it, guys. It looks so freaking good. Like I said, I love documenting pretty much the small and the big things that happen. I'm enjoying it, and I hope you guys are enjoying it at home as well. But yeah, with that being said, let's officially start today's video. I got this like career type job uh, that it's forced me to like wake up at like five, four in the mornings. I'm actually very thankful because I actually like being up early. It's just getting up is the hardest part for me. Like actually just getting out of bed is so freaking hard. Uh, it's annoying, but it's still a trait of mine that I'm like still working on. Yeah, like I said, I love being out early. So come on. But yeah, are you guys morning people or night owls? Comment down below. I feel like the majority of people are gonna say they're night owls, but but for the few of you that are like morning people, I'm curious to see who's a morning person. It is 7.20. I've arrived to my destination of work. Probably catch up with you guys um, on my lunch break. I'm kinda craving deli sandwich, pastrami sandwich. So I think we're gonna get that for lunch. Uh, so I'll catch up with you guys in about four, three or four hours on my lunch break and we'll grab some lunch together. So um, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Hi, uh, can I order a, uh, a giant hot pastrami please? What's your name? Chris. For you Chris, in a few minutes. Okay, thank you so much. About three hours have passed. It's time for lunch. This is what we got. 
chips, literally the best chips in the world, I think. If you guys don't know about these, you guys are sleep. These are so freaking good. If you guys can find one of these, they're kind of like, I don't want to say rare, but kind of hard to find, but if you do, grab one. And the best part, oh my, no, the freaking pickle. Check that out. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna tear this up. <laughs> Pastrami, mustard, tomatoes, onions, mayo, cheese, and dude, this is literally the bombest pastrami sandwich ever. I feel like a lot of people don't like mustard, but I love mustard, it's so good. When the bread is so soft. All right, cheers guys. So freaking good. Typically on my lunch breaks, I watch some YouTube. Today what we're gonna watch is some Jimmy Oaks. It's still kinda early in the day, it's like 10.40. Uh, so a lot of people haven't posted yet, but today we're gonna watch some Jimmy Oaks. I put it right here while I eat, so it's perfect. Wait, I forgot to tell you guys what drink I got. Uh, I got an Arizona. This is actually also hard to find too. Uh, the cucumber green tea with citrus, guys. <laughs> you guys have to try. It. I think you have to try everything, guys. The cucumber Arizona. Ooh. If you guys like the normal green tea, then you have to try this. Way better than the normal green tea. We just made it home. I have a fat headache. I don't know what it is, but. It was just kind of one of those days at work, to be honest. But anyways, we're back at home. Got the FRS right here. And super random, but kind of recently, I don't know what it's been, but I've been low-key digging the kind of more raised up rear and like the front more lower. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but it's like barely noticeable on this car. I mean, obviously we're on air suspension, so I can adjust it whenever. But low-key, I don't know. Something about it. I just love that aggressive stance. I don't know. I just think it looks sick. I'm kind of getting sidetracked right now, but I just feel like today was one of those days, to be honest. Everything just pisses you off at work. I got Oscar here. How you doing? You watching the house while I'm gone? <laughs> Boxers are so awkward. I love them, though. I just feel so much better. I know a lot of people want to grow facial hair. With me, I didn't start growing facial hair until after high school. So I think like six months to maybe a year after, I would say like a year after high school, is when I was actually able to grow like a goatee like this. I've been running this for so long now. Literally like ever since I can run facial hair, I always just ran this like goatee. But yeah, it's, I guess a little fun fact. Um, if you guys are waiting on your facial hair, I didn't grow it until a year after high school. But yeah, right now we are in the FRS. I have a freaking headache, so I think we're gonna get some Jamba Juice. I've been craving a bowl from Jamba Juice. Good thing is the one in my area is the drive-thru, so we can hop in the drive-thru. All right, can I get a, uh, a chunky strawberry bowl, please? Guys, what do you think? What do you guys think of the Retro Padres jersey? Dude, I've been wanting one of these for so long. I don't know why it's been taking me so long to buy one. But as you guys see the videos, I always wear SD hats. You know, I'm from San Diego, California. You know, you gotta rep the city. Dude, I've always wanted the jersey, and this by far is my favorite colorway jersey. This is like their 90s, I think 90s jerseys. I'm not, don't quote me on the years, because I don't even know if I was born when they are wearing these, but these by far, 
favorite colorway? The blue, the orange, with the pinstripes. Yeah, what do you guys think of the fit? We got the matching hat to match the jersey. Got the Abercrombie camo pants. Shout out to my girlfriend for getting these. And got the blazers. Honestly, I think these are my favorite shoes by far. Something about the freaking blazers, the high tops are so comfortable. Like, literally, I almost wear these every single day. Definitely gotta get another pair of these. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. All right. Got the bowl acquired. I'll show you guys in a bit once we get to the shop. All right, guys, we just made it to the shop. Check it out. We got the Jumbo Bowl with me. Let me do a little quick mix for you guys. We got the granola. I think there's like peanut butter mixed in, but this is pretty much like a strawberry banana smoothie in a bowl, so don't mind all the energy drinks behind me. <laughs> this is actually Jason's props. He does like photography. He's been doing like some crazy pictures with these Celsius cans uh, for his website. I'll probably put a picture right here on the screen to show you guys. I don't freaking drink energy drinks, so there's no way I'm touching those. I've been holding off on this news for, I wanna say like two months, um, but I went to Arizona. When did I go? I wanna say like mid-January. You guys saw we went to Barrett Jackson Car Show, and I also linked up with the boys from Low Glow and my guy K24 Austin with the Turbo Red GR86 that I actually made a video on. I'll put it right here on the screen. But yeah, Red Turbo GR86. That car pretty much sold me on getting a turbo kit for the beer Z's. Long story short, you know, I've been teasing it on Instagram, I've been teasing it on YouTube. I've been saying, I wanna get a turbo kit for this car. It's pretty much all this car is missing. You know, we have the Street Hunter kit, bags, wheels, and that's literally the last piece is a freaking big turbo. And guys, we finally did it. I ordered the kit around a month and a half ago, and, um, you guys are probably wondering, you know, what kit did I go with for the Beer Z? Once I saw Austin's car in person and felt the power and just the sounds that kit makes, I actually opted for the P&L Turbo Kit. It's a little bit different than the JDL. You know, JDL is the unequal length kit, so it has like that UEL sound. With the P&L kit, it is actually equal length header, but it has a dump tube. And dude, that thing sounds so freaking obnoxious and crazy in person. Oh my gosh, bro. <laughs> and you guys know me. You guys know I love loud cars, obnoxious stuff, and dude, that turbo kit has a bigger turbo, you know, the open dump, so you're just gonna hear the freaking wastegate just screaming. And um, dude, it's, oh man, I'm so excited, guys. Um, my kit should take about six to eight weeks. So right now, I believe it's like either the sixth or the seventh week. Coming up to the timeline of when they said the kit would be finished. Now, fingers crossed, everything, you know, goes accordingly. Everything is in stock so, you know, we can get it, you know, ASAP. But um, yeah, I've been holding this news for like almost two months now and I finally get to freaking release it to you guys. Did supercharger on my FRS that's outside and I really wanted to do something different. And I've never done a turbo, you know, aside from the STI, you know, it comes with a turbo from the factory, but actually installing a turbo kit on a car that is NA, I've never done that before. And you guys have been hearing me say, I want to do something different this year. I've been seeing your guys' comments. You know, you guys have been saying, you know, enough exhaust videos, enough wheel install videos, you know, let's see some power for the cars and I get to finally fulfill that for you guys. I'm so excited. You know, it's been a goal of mine, you know, to like step outside of my comfort zone because I've literally just been focusing on like cosmetics, aesthetic looks, you know, I'm big on stance, you know, wheel fitment and stuff. So I've been doing that for years now. So now 2024, we're going with the big turbo and what better car than the 2022 BRZ, literally the missing piece. If you guys missed that video when I showcased Austin's car in Arizona, he's pushing insane amount of power. Right here, I'll put it on the screen. I think it was like high 500s. Absolutely crazy, like this turbo kit and these cars have so much potential with power. The first gen FRS and BRZs, they kind of like cap out at like mid 300s, high 300s. The FRS right now is running around like 350. But dude, with the second gens, with the bigger motor, like I said, Austin is comfortably running 560 something, I think. I don't know if I'm gonna push that much power, to be honest, I kinda wanna keep it like conservative. So I wanna aim for like fours, maybe like mid fours. I'm not too sure. We'll see when the time comes once we throw the kit on and do all the tuning. 
Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. It's gonna be crazy. I'm definitely gonna have to switch up the freaking look of the car because I'm running so much camber. I got some ideas, some stuff that I haven't seen yet with the BRZ, so I'm gonna try to pull it off. I'm not gonna say anything, but um, dude, I plan to make this car look freaking sick. Once again, smash that like button and comment down below what you guys think of the turbo kit. Before we end it off today's video, I just real quickly wanted to show you guys the new merch up close and personal uh, since we just picked it up last night. Check it out guys. These are so freaking cool. Just like the FRS ones we did about a couple months ago. Uh, we had to do it for the STI as you can see. It pretty much is how it looks now. You know with the new T7Rs we just installed and uh, of course just like the FRS one. A couple of the mods that are on the car. So cool. A little bit of detail. We got you know like T7Rs, Grimspeed downpipe, blow off valve, so got the uh, BRG STI license plate. So I love this kind of theme. We've been like sticking around with Borgia Supply recently. And we did the FRS and now the STI. And then soon after this drop, we're gonna do this car, the BRZ. Not only do we have these two heavyweight t-shirts, uh, you know, in the kind of faded black and also the cream color, just like the FRS, once again, we are doing some skateboard decks so i got 40 of the sti ones crazy because you guys literally sold out of the frs ones in less than one minute it was absolutely insane completely blew my mind um yeah the website sold out of these skateboard decks within a minute so these are gonna go very very fast i assume so um next friday i plan to drop all of this stuff so the two sti t-shirts as well as the STI skateboard decks. I'm telling you guys, the FRS ones went so freaking quick. Literally sold out in less than a minute um, because these are very limited pieces. I will be numbering them on the backside as well as signing each skateboard deck. So it's kind of like a cool collector's item. Now a little surprise since we sold out of the FRS ones super fast, I actually made just 10 more. So 10 more alongside the STI decks, we are gonna be dropping the FRS ones once again. Not the t-shirts, just the skateboard decks. I think I'm actually gonna keep a couple for myself. So less than 10 of the FRS decks are gonna be dropped as well with the rest of the STI decks. Again, Friday, April 5th is when I plan to drop. If you guys haven't already, you guys should be following me on Instagram, on both my personal and on Board Supply, you know, the clothing brand Instagram. Uh, because I do post a lot of updates, a lot of sneak peeks, a lot of like cinematics of like, you know, the products and all that, just a whole bunch of stuff I post. Also, one more announcement, real quick, I don't wanna like talk too much. On April 5th, I'll also be in Arizona once again. Loglo is having a little open house at their warehouse in Arizona, so I plan to bring the FRS. So I actually brought the Beer Z the first time we went to Arizona. So this time around, I think I'm gonna bring the FRS. So I'm super excited for that, guys. If you guys are near the area, if you guys live in Arizona, I'll be attending the Low Glow open house. I'll put the flyer right here. But yeah, that was my last announcement before we ended today's video. But yeah, with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Uh, we didn't really do that much car stuff. You know, it's kind of just like laid back, chill. Kind of did a little mini day in the life. Uh, regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Big news for the BRZ, super excited. I love you guys so freaking much. Thank you guys for all the support. Thank you guys for 100K on Instagram. So blessed to have amazing supporters like you guys. Appreciate you guys hanging out with me today. Hope you all have a good one today. Make it a good one and I'll catch y'all later, peace.